Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to share this product with you today. This is a smart bird feeder that has a video camera on it and a solar panel and it connects to your phone and gives you notifications whenever there's birds um, at your bird feeder. I became a stay-at-home mom two years ago and am just raising my little baby and with that we have watched a lot more birds than I really ever thought we would. Um, we have a really big window in our living room that we spend most of our time at and birds are constantly coming to our bird feeder and bird bath that sit right outside of there and so we have been loving watching the birds come. This smart bird feeder I'm so excited for because I personally love to be able to identify the different types of birds and this bird feeder will connect to an app on the phone and identify the birds for me. I think their AI system can identify over 12,000 different types of birds and so I think this will be really fun and interesting just to kind of see, especially like if birds are migrating, just kind of whoever's coming to our house. So I want to kind of set it up and show you the process and maybe I can get some footage of some birds actually eating on it. So this product comes with a 4MP high definition camera that has 2K resolution and which is an amazing camera for this type of product. Um, and like I mentioned, it has a solar panel that I'm going to be getting set up so that it's kind of a sustainable energy source for itself. I believe it connects to the Wi-Fi. Um, it is waterproof and you get the real time notifications to the app whenever there is a bird on your bird feeder, which is really exciting. Um, so just getting all of our little pieces out and then I'm going to kind of show the setup of this. Okay, there is a film on the camera that we're just going to take off real quick. Okay. So to fill up this bird feeder, there is a little tab that we're just going to pop and we can put all of the food down into this uh, granary section. And then it will kind of scatter out front here. You can put these pieces on. Okay, so when you first get this to set it up, um, you're going to want to pull out this little USB piece. And then um, there's a cord that's just already connected here that you'll want to um, connect to that. There you go. And then for me, this little light turned on. Okay, so then once you get your USB plugged in in here, and you have your little perch. Um, you can attach this little honey feeder, so, or uh, you know, like sugar water for the hummingbirds. Um, and then it also does come with a little fruit fork. I'm not gonna be using either of those today because I don't really feel like, um, I don't think we have any hummingbirds here yet. Um, this is the very back. There is an antenna that you just need to screw on into this piece here. And then this USB, is going to be the USB that is on the solar panel and back here there is also a little um, notch or whatever you can also attach this uh, for hanging it up somewhere Now to mount the bird feeder, it was very easy. You weave these straps that it comes with through the mount and secure it to a tree or a structure. A solid base is preferred. We did experiment by hanging it with some of the paracord that comes with this bird feeder and that worked great too. My only thing was that the bird feeder is a little heavy, back heavy and so the grain didn't really, the seeds didn't really fill in as it's supposed to. So you kind of want to make sure that your bird feeder is level. Then underneath of it, um, once you have your base secured, there's going to be two screw spots. Secure the one in the middle first, and then you can kind of rotate your bird feeder to kind of face whichever direction you want. My only tip here is to angle it away from any roads or oncoming traffic because you might get notifications for cars that go by. 
but secure your second screw and then make sure you point your camera down towards the seed so you can actually watch the birds eating from your seeds. There's plenty of room for the antenna. Then make sure that you connect your solar panel in the back and you can either mount secure this um, or we just set it on the ground because that's honestly the spot that's going to get the most sun. This is so much fun and I'm so excited to have this as an addition to our garden this summer. We were able to identify some birds that flew by and we had these finches come and eat some of our seeds and I think we've had some chickadees come as well. Also try to make sure your solar panel is in a very sunny spot so that it gets most energy. The other thing you can do is that you can set the hours for when it is actually monitoring and that should also save some battery life. So I'm really excited for this bird feeder. I think it'll be a really fun addition to kind of keep track of. I also want to mention that I think it'd be a really great gift, especially if you have like a grandma or grandpa, somebody that might be retired or home a lot and maybe already is really into bird watching. I think it'd be really fun for them because it does send the notification to your phone. They can go back and look at it and it identifies the bird for them. And I think that's just kind of a really fun detail or you know if there's like a kid that's really into birds and like kind of tracking that I think that would be really fun for them too. I will put a link to the product down in the description below and now would be a really great time for a gift especially with spring coming up the birds are going to become more active and being able to have it all summer long would just be so much fun to kind of see what visits the bird feeder. Thank you guys for watching I will see you guys in the next video.